this is how I spend most of my weekends, just oozing around in a pool of my own filth, eating. What's up guys, John here from the Killerbits and today I'm taking a quick look at Toadled or Toadled or I don't know, I don't know how you pronounce it. Basically this is just a quick little kind of clicker game, I actually think it's a mobile port and it comes out on Steam on the 19th I think it is. Um, I think it's basically going to be like a, one of these dirt cheap dollar games type thing. But it's cute, I mean look at this guy, he's cute. And it's it's essentially it's a clicker game. It's easier to show you what's going on. So we will s start fresh. I have played it through. It's it's incredibly quick to play. I think I managed to beat it in like 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that. And the idea is you're this toad, and you're a, you need to eat to grow, collect upgrades, but watch out for the bombs. Very very simple. And it, no, it's not frog fractions. We basically got an upgrade system and we can slow down time but as we play you'll be able to see what what's going on so as i said with this little guy and we collect coins to pay for stuff and we basically eat bugs you have enough to upgrade so if we press shift now as you can see this is the upgrade screen so we can upgrade our growth speed our health slow mo shrink or we have less bombs well i think we need to get bigger don't we so we'll increase our growth speed and this is essentially it it is just a clicker game but it's it's kind of cute and there's a, a nice kind of progression loop to it we may have enough yeah we've got enough coins to maybe do another upgrade we can upgrade slow-mo i'll show you what the slow-mo is so the idea is if you hit spacebar everything slows down this is good for later levels when it gets kind of crazy with the amount of things on screen and trying to avoid incoming objects because they do hurt you. So there we go. We hit a bomb by accident. I haven't got 150 coins so we're going to have to give up. And we ate nine things and grew to a maximum size of 0.28. So let's see if we can get, get through some of the, the levels as quick as possible. So as you can see, you do actually still keep your upgrades in a run until you kind of go back to menus and reset the data. And as you, as you do imagine, upgrades cost more and more each time you, you click. So let's let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, Toady. So as I said, it's just very very simple. It's kind of cute. Um, it's got a very kind of. You can tell it's a mobile game, not not just by the, the graphics and the simple kind of it's one button mechanics, but it's just got that kind of very quick, um, satisfying gameplay loop to it. And come on, as you can see at the bottom there, you can see our progression to our final form, our, our next form anyway. Final form is a slightly larger than that. And 71, I think we can do some upgrades, so let's upgrade growth speed, uh, we'll shrink less. You, you get, basically you shrink down if you get hit, and that's not when you get hit by, you know, the bombs, it's when you get hit by objects. And yeah, I'll increase our health as well. So we should, we're about halfway there, so. The quicker we can upgrade um, our kind of growth speed, the better. I mean, I think where I ha had it upgraded, um, I, I basically went into what they call survival mode, which is basically just kind of an endless mode style from the beginning. I basically completed the first three levels in um, with kind of th three bytes. There we, we're almost there. A couple more bugs, I reckon. And there we go. No, nope. one more. Okay. Not the bomb. There we go. And there we go. We've evolved. All that protein paid off. His legs have developed enough strength to hold the rest of his body up. Now he can walk around, use his arms to catch prey. So as you as you'd imagine, you, we've got several forms. It goes all the way up to stage 10. 
I bet you can't guess what that is. So yeah, as we can see, you basically just keep up growing and that. I mean, we can probably upgrade ourselves. There you go, growth speed and some more health. Try and get 10 more coins, we do less shrinkage. Maybe he's cold. So, as I said, it's, it's, it's incredibly simple, but it's got that kind of satisfying... Um, kills a bit of time. There you go. I, I took a hit from that bird, and that's what caused me to shrink down. So I'm ba basically back to almost stage one, as you can see in, in the bottom there. It's basically because... You, you soon find that the kind of the different animals or objects or whatever come in at different kind of patterns and the ones coming in at the top are, aren't too bad but there's not a lot of room at the bottom and you, you, you get caught out by kind of those looping ones that uh, come in from the bottom. So we go about halfway, we can probably do some upgrades, uh, 70, uh, we can't do health. Uh, we can't do gross speed, but we can do health. Uh, we'll do shrink less. There we go. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, do less shrinkage. Oh, damn, damn it. All right, well, if we give up, now you actually see... This is probably what one of kind of... I wouldn't say niggles I've got with the game, is the fact is that when you die, essentially you've lost all your health and that, you basically restart on the, the the level that you died on and with all your upgrades. So, I mean, it would probably be better with kind of almost a permadeath mode. You basically reset, but this is why it's so quick to get through. Basically, you can just keep upgrading. It doesn't matter if you die on a level because you can basically restart on that level. So, we've got all, all our upgrades. We've got full health again now. So, just give up, carry on. It doesn't matter. So, it it's it's probably bad in that sense. There's you know there, there's not a lot of challenge to it, but it's a it's a mobile port. It's it's probably what you expect. And as I said, it's it's simple, it's cute, and it's it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, if it is, like I said, um, I haven't got an exact price, but I saw on I think it was the the Steam forums one of the devs saying they're looking at basically selling it for. 99 cents so at that price you can't really complain and i think the the actual mobile versions were free ad supported versions so they couldn't really ask a lot for this and as i said it's only maybe half an hour maybe an hour's worth of gameplay in it so yeah they're not going to ask a five five bucks for this or anything like that it's very very simple but it's cute and it makes me want to try and find frog fractions too <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so happy about all his munchies. There we go, we've got a new high score. Let's do some upgrades. Um, growth speed, there you go. We should be able to get it in the next few, as long as we don't get hit and get shrunk. There we go, almost got by the bird. There we go, we'll, we'll slow down time. As, as you imagine, uh, as you upgrade that slow mo thing, it's easier. There you go. Slow mo is qu quite a quick cooldown sort of thing. Uh, you can literally keep just spamming slow mo. Uh, but there we go. Stage three. His skin has become thick and bumpy, just like his life. There's no going back now. He's on a conquest to become the largest being in the universe. So, as I said, it's very, very simple, very, very cute. Uh, just keep eating everything. There you go. You can see some some of the creatures actually react by, you know, if you they they retreat from you. I mean, there's other ones that kind of swoop in. I think the dogs are on that path. They just swoop in. The raccoons are just fly straight for you. So you, you you quickly learn what creatures' patterns are. And there we go. We'll just grab more coins, more coins. Doggy gets eaten. 
Let's see if we can upgrade. Oh, we'll wait another 10 and then we can upgrade growth speed again. Growth speed is, tends to be the best one in these kind of early levels and then it's slow-mo for the later ones. There we go, we can upgrade growth. We should be able to get it in the next few with this upgrade. There we go, just need one more maybe, two more. There we go. An effort to reproduce Toad's heads have started to grow from his bumps on his skin. It takes about two hours before he's fully grown and crawls out of Toad's skin, only to shrivel up and die a few minutes later. So we're basically mutating madly now. <laughs> but as, as I said, this is essentially the game. It's, it's a clicker. There you go, that buffalo runs away from you. There we go, and we got hit. This is where, you know, upgrading the shrinkage and the uh, slow-mo is probably helpful. We're up to 64, so we should probably do an upgrade. Uh, I'll end it at this next evolution. As you can see in the, the bottom silhouette there, it's, it, the, the next evolution is a little weird. Let's upgrade. Uh, we'll shrink less. Uh, maybe have some less bombs as well. I really don't know what the less bombs does because it doesn't seem to make much of an impact. Whether it's less damage from a bomb, I can't really tell. I think it tends to be two hits from a bomb and you, you die and reset anyway. So let's just keep spamming the click. As I said, it's it's incredibly simple, but it's cute. It's cute. There we go. Come on. Get the bison. Is it a buffalo or a bison? Uh, antelope. Bear. I just want a slow-mo. I know something's going to creep in underneath and stab me. Come on, come on. We just want to get to the next evolution and I'll wrap things up. Come on. Almost. There we go. One more. No, two more. There we go. Something has gone horribly wrong. The core structure of his DNA has broken down so much that after he's devolved into nothing but liquid toad. After several days of being just a puddle and high form, then a mouth, then a few hours later you get what you see. So as we can see here, now we're having to take on the humans or zombies, humans with golf clubs and sh shovels. So yeah, this is Toadlet. I will leave a link in the description below. And as I think it's, as I said, out on the 19th on Steam for about a dollar, I reckon. As I said, I, I haven't got any information on exact price. It was just what I read in the Steam forums. But if you like this video, Obviously, you can let us know by hitting that like button and let us know in the comments below. And if you want to get in touch with us, comments are a great place or you can get us on any of the social medias at the Kilobits. And it's probably a good thing because um, people keep telling me that they don't see the video showing up in subscriptions. So you're probably better actually you know, following us on Twitter and Facebook and that because I always post the, the videos on there. So you'll always, you'll always know when the next video is out. Anyway. I'm just going to carry on eating stuff. This is how I spend most of my weekends, just oozing around in a pool of my own filth, eating. Okay, yeah. Alright. <laughs> I will catch you guys later.